You know what I'm saying? Imagine you, your woman that you're with every day, took a pill and then her vagina just just get and just change on you. I would like that. But then what happens when when she can't get the pill? You don't even want to <laughs> sleep with her again. He's saying, babe, babe, <laughs> find the pill. Come in. You got that. You got that. Baby, <laughs> baby, yo, mm, mm. <laughs> like, she's like. <laughs> Check, check. Elephant in the Room podcast. We're back in the building. Your boy C6. Man like Dizzle's in the building. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Big up to you. And yeah. big up to you. Big and up to the patrons. We love the patrons. Love you. Love you. And big up to the new subscribers as well. All right, I'm not going to lie yet. Big up to the new subscribers. The patrons are growing week on week on week on week. Big up all the new patrons. And you know, yeah. say the first tier of patrons sold out. Oh yeah, that's what we need to talk about. It's sold out. The first tier of patrons sold out. So I put a limit on it. I put a cap. Yeah. From the beginning. And I El was like... Capo. I put, yeah, I said El Chapo, Capo. Put it on the top and I thought, you know what? If we hit this number, I'll be happy. And then boom, we surpassed that number. So we're now we're on to tier two. And I'm happy with that we're on to tier two. We also have a £10 option. Ooh. Now, the £10 option is for the maximum support. If you want to yeah. be a maximum supporter, the top, top, a top supporter, mm -hmm. you don't get no more. I'm not going to start promising you things because you know what we, we know what it's like when we promise. No, but if you are the £10... <laughs> no, we're not promising all because you see the difference. Let me tell you what the £10 thing is, yeah? The £10 got more access to us. No, it doesn't. It do they do. No, they do. I'm not selling a dream. The ten, but Let me tell you what the £10 thing does. Okay. The £10 tier supports us extra and we and we love you even more for that do you see what i'm saying but i can't promise you anymore you don't have to go for the 10 the, so the three pound tier is sold out you, it's now we're on the four pound tier but if you want to upgrade and go to the 10 pound tier and support us then we just love you even more that's all it is but we're not promising you nothing more you just get a little piece of love more you know what i mean just a little piece more stop don't even. I can see a promise coming. I'm not promising. I just want to say that we haven't got ten pound people yet. But if we do, we do. We do. We got one. I love. What, I love them. I want them. To see, I, we've got one because they're the first. And they converted from a from a from a from a four. No, seriously, pound. So they converted from a four pound to a ten pound. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, and you know we love them. Like cool. I don't know if for that person that I'm gonna do something nice oh, for them. Stop, stop, stop. I am because they're the first ten pound. So yeah, we have to do that to show. I want to show love. I want to do something. That's cool. When we when we have a when we do our proper live show, all the ten pound ones are VIP. Yeah, are super VIP. Yeah, like standard. Yeah, like them are bridgens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you don't sit with them lot. They, you yeah. sit like he was with us. Yeah, you're with the man. Them you roll with the man. Them. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let link up same time. <laughs> but, but yeah. Oh yeah, pick me up from my yard. Yeah, I can, I can send my location. What's wrong with you? Don't go too far with it. But they're going to be super VIP because they're like so special to us. So all of those people that are going to convert from now to the £10 tier, we love you. We love you because it's, it's love and support. Because this this here um, is for you guys. Yeah. And the more like this ain't a profit thing. You know what I'm saying? This is for you lot. So when you support us, we just give it straight back. So okay. it's all good. Sound like you was waffling there, but big up to you. And I noticed that, um, yeah, last week I had no hat. And you saw how, you know, the girl them loved me and how much more views we got. So now you're thinking, you come with no hat. I just got a trim. Last week, I looked rough, blood. Last week. It, you know what I can't stand? Just just randomly, because you see this new way of barbering? Yeah. Since COVID? Yeah. No appointment. No, no booking. Like, no yeah. booking. Yeah. There ain't no turn up at the barbers yeah. no more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. brother, I hate it. I know. I hate it. Because uh, your, bar your, uh, your, bar your barber's English, isn't it? He's a Jamaican, but... He He's, he's, he's yeah, he's British. He, yeah, he talks British. English. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's all these English barbers are doing that. My barber's yardy. Anytime, any, anytime, anywhere. Yeah, that's what <laughs> no, I need. I'm going to the barber shop. Uh, yeah, yeah, work. Right, yeah, trim me. That's what I need. I need. Let me tell the you, the price has gone up though. Don't get twisted. I don't mind paying. It's not about it's, the money. Listen, I said to my barber, but, but that's the accessibility. Yeah, that's what. I'm, that's what I don't like. Same thing. Not I'm cutting you. Mm. That's what I, I was enjoying. Yeah. This appointment business. Yeah, you're a yeah, barber, yeah. blood. You're not a doctor. You're a barber. Yeah, and 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 talk about yeah, boy. I got an appointment coming in, and the barber yeah. shop's empty because the barber shop won't like that. Brother, listen. Let me My tell you something. My barber shop's lively. We've got drink I got and a, beer I had things. a booking 
And I realized on Friday, right, I really need a trim. So I called my barber and said, Blood, I need a trim. I got a busy weekend. Him said, Boy, Tuesday. I said, yeah. Brother, What part of I got a busy weekend? Are you telling me Tuesday? Yeah. What would what, what we doing it? <laughs> I said, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and I'm, I'm not even one of them people that are like barber loyal, you know. I'll just go to a barber. No, you can't be. No, now, now the new thing is you can't be barber loyal. Yeah. Barber loyal. <laughs> you can't be barber loyal. Skibbly bibbly barber loyal. <laughs> My turn to one 80s DJ. <laughs> barber <Bible-o. laughs> No, you can't. You definitely can't be a barber loyal. <laughs> I'm not saying. I was thinking it didn't make sense, did it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna share right on it. <laughs> yeah, you can't be barber loyal right now. You have, nah. bro. I swear, I, I would just have, I would have cruised the streets, and gone to a barber. But you know, let me tell you something. I done that to my son once. Yeah, we were going to a christening, and he didn't have his hair done, and picked him up. And said, so this little brother never told me say he needed trim. Mm-hmm. So fucked up. I just went, come out on Brixton. It was a Sunday. There was a barber open. I said, you know what, come on, let's go. I said, anybody trim him? He said, yeah, man, yeah, man. The worst haircut I've like, ever seen in my life. I could imagine, but you went to And he place. was vexed. My son, you know, like, but he's a you, isn't he? He's, you right? They turn this fuck up. No, but you know that always happens when you go to a... Ra- you can't just go random, barbers. Go, that's what I'm saying. You can't just go random. Because you got to realise... You always will get fucked up. Even though you see them got Q and all that, when it comes to you... Your head's as fuck. It's Why? It's but I think it's a mental thing. It's you know a mental it thing. You know what it is? You see the barbers, yeah? Think, I feel like you got to treat the barbers like the restaurant. You see the empty restaurant? Yeah, yeah. There's a problem. Yeah. The busy restaurant says there's... You get what I'm saying? But the barber shop is like could be busy, but the barber that's not busy... That's what you went to. He's the idiot. Yeah, but I needed to get in and, and out. And no, because I've been there. We've, His mum was vexing me as well, bro. Let me tell you this. I've been there in the barber shop. We know which one's the idiot barber. Yeah. And he's got no client. You see someone running. Can we get air cut? Yeah, my man. And he gets the cut. He, you don't go. You have to wait for the one that's yeah, yeah, and yeah, got yeah, two yeah. in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tall. All right, I'm gonna wait for you. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he, he doesn't know why he's got a. There's queue. a reason he's got a queue. You understand? It's, it's my, that's but my good thing is, I'm I'm originally from Tottenham, so I'm up here and my barber's up here. But when I go Tottenham, my old barber's there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's, and and there's two of them. They're yardy, so they they all twelve o'clock in the night. They're there. You know them Listen, ones. I, my my barber started working in 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 the yard shop. Um, where's Wemnium? He throws a dance. He throws a dance, man. Fashion icon. Oh, uh, b- body, body. Yeah, body fashion. Body fashion, fashion icon. icon. Yeah, <laughs> body barbers. So yeah. big him up still. So I started going to that barber shop to where my friend was work. My barber started yeah. to work. The major height, major height trims. He Brother, trims major height. I'm telling you, it was just like a dancing. I'm telling. I'm talking. I went in there on Friday night. Be a selectors, squidly, crystal blue, this, that. Just, I was in there for about four hours, just talking, talking, talking. Then they got cooking food out the back. I said, yo. Pin. Last week, my barber told me, so, yo, man, I started a Friday thing at the, at the shop, and so we had some food. And <laughs> so tomorrow, my barber's lit tomorrow. Me I, I started a week. Friday thing at the shop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My barber's, right, my barber shop right now is ghost town, unless you got an appointment. No, I see. Go in there, it's ghost town. So I'm, I'm, I think I might have to rejoin. Yeah, no, the yard barbers. barbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, go there, yo. Look, I shut that room and I'll take the one that my reads. That's the old school. That's how we that grew old up. school barbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could go and spend a Saturday. But the only good thing is, is because people still just come on. So it's just the real cool band them. We even, we get their hair to come and, and we'll we jam in there. It's not like no bag of youths. Because the bag of youths don't go barbers no more. You're seeing that. Yeah, no, but yeah they just, people, they got barbers that come to their yard. You understand? They're in, they're in too much beef. So you got the barbers <laughs> is, is nice now. It's like the older generation. But the the, the, the English youths them now, they're trying to come with this 50 pound and appointment. They're trying to make it into a, like a, like a, a movie. viable business. Yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, yeah, man's, man's, there's barbers now. I saw something on TikTok or something where this barber made a thousand pound in a day, but he made a thousand pound a day because every trim is a eighty pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe no, my, my, eighty pound for a shape up. And my barber, the English shoot, T Styles, big him up. He's now because he used to cut chip, then he used to cut Skepta. Now he's got his own shop. Now yeah. he, he he's making barber life. He's turning barber life into some like a movie. Yeah. So everywhere you see him out, then you see a footballer come check him, and so now he's in he's in he's in Marbella with the man them just living life, but. 
He's the top barber. This is what top barbers do. So now they're building a career. Like DL cuts. Everybody's got mm. film in their shop now. Like, yeah, yeah that's prestige. a business. Like, big up HD cuts. Yeah, that, that used you to get be me? a small little shop on Lavender Hill. Yeah, I drove past it the other day. It's the triple shop. Like, yes, like, you know, see, like, one. HD, they've got your DL and you've got HD cuts. HD cuts now. They, they've, they're like the first pioneers of putting their barbershop on social media, like to say, yeah, this is the fucking place. If you ain't getting from HD cuts, then... Yeah, yeah, you ain't saying nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is top celebrity places. This is the top place. Mm. So everybody see that now and jumped on it. So if you I go to my budget shop... Wanna, I just want to big up everyone and just say thank you for enduring the noise. But obviously, we're in the lounge and in the lounge happens to be a... You know, a, a, like a washing machine. machine. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, be a... Shoo, shoo. So yeah, just, just in case anybody was getting frustrated. It's done now. The wash is ended. All the dotted drawers, them clean again. At least I'm clean, isn't it? I said, I'm but I'm mean, not this year. You clean your dotted drawers. You're supposed to. I bet you, if I bet you, I, no, no homer, but fun and joke aside, if C6 was to take off his boxer shorts right now, you will see a mini skid. A mini skid? If you took off your one, it would stand up on its own. That's why I just see my thing I wash. Yeah, but that. that and, why, and why for the, the stand up on his own? Empty. I took off my thing and stand up on it. Why for that, blood? Yeah? <laughs> why for that? Straight why. That's a big why. <laughs> that's a why. <laughs> that's a pause, eject, yeah. and dash ready to tape. Yeah. All right, let's move on, blood. Okay. Boom. So, first thing first, I want to I wanna touch the budget thing, but I want to quickly brush over the cartel thing in the sense of people are pussies in a way. Like, they, they, for 13 years, there was a storm. Free world boss, world boss this, world boss, the boss, the boss, the former road. And now the boss has come around. When I, like, I'm, like everybody wants to turn against him. I am look so, him sit, this like, cost this, yeah, cost this, like, you lot want him to come around to, 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 to slaughter him. You, know? you understand? The man's, as you said, being in jail for 13 years, it's not like British jail where you come out looking fresher. This is prison. Yeah, he was in prison. Prison. Real, not because he's making tunes. Was, he was in prison. Harsh conditions, as you can see. He contracted grave disease. He's, he's not the same cartel that the world boss that he was trying to free. That was when he first got in, he should come out. Now, after, that's, it's not the same world boss. You know what I'm saying? It's like, still, you want, it's like Tyson. You still want, like, we, we want Tyson to come out and fight now. And, no. Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah, he can't be. He's, he's, there's two different persons. Now, he's over-matured. He's probably in his 40s, coming up to his 50s now. Who? Cartel. Cartel. Yeah. Yeah, he might be. He might be 50. You understand what I'm saying? So even run up and down on stage like that. Remember, remember when Buju came, within this second week, he had a concert. <laughs> you understand like what I'm Buju, saying? Remember, you know, when Buju, when you remember when Buju was released, you know, and then that they had the airport shot, he was, he looked like he'd been working out. No, but he's, but he's come from American, Joe. It's different yeah, from yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got, you got facilities in that yeah, shit. Yeah, you got facilities. You got, it's not poor conditions. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean, with? So you came out fresh, like how you come out from English, Joe. You see a man come out from English, Joe. Yeah, you don't look, you don't come see out, a, wham, wham, fresh. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Looking, yeah, like where? How can't <laughs> you wouldn't say he come out of prison? I can't, yeah, it, you look like he come out of hospital. It, it, like he needs to go. He should have went into hospital. Yeah, there's but a difference. The thing is, you know what it is. I don't know if a lot of people are turning against him. I'm not sure if that's the right. Not thing. say turn, but they're not with him in the sense they're not supporting him. Like you know, how you know, you know what it is. I think. World boss I think if I look at it objectively, yeah, I think the mystique of cartel has gone. He's come out, and the mystique is not there. He hasn't lived up to the mystique. He's supposed to have come out and been incognito for a while. And yes, there was probably um, some form of um, thought process that he will just still be the, the the same vibrant world boss as when he went in, but he's come yeah. out, he's looked different, he, he talking different, talking different, he's doing old people stuff on the phone. Mm. Yeah, yeah. All, all this, what, what this thing by my head? All this work, you know, like he's yeah. like your granny using the yeah, phone. Yeah, and he's got his girl now. The girl's got to use the phone. And like, yeah, and every, you know, and then he's overcompensating. Big up my girl, my wife, yeah, my fiance, pretty yeah. like Beyonce. Yeah, like he's overdoing it. Everything just feels forced, and it feels like he has kissed, killed his own mystique. You understand? So I don't think people are turning against him, but I feel like whatever people thought they were going to get, they ain't got. And it's a little bit disappointing for them. But what was they expecting, to be no, fair? No, because this is how it goes. The expectation but, was too high. Remember when you put when you put people on a, on a pedestal and they don't live up to your expectation, it's great disappointment. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's just like a girl. This is why sometimes some women's really suffer when a, when a man puts her on a pedestal she really suffers because when she when he finds out she's just normal mm -hmm. 
like she can't live up to this this mystique that he's created. She can't live up to it. So do you know what I mean? And then it he just switches or or vice versa. This girl thinks you're some super millionaire or whatever, and she realizes hey, you don't have it like that. The mystique's gone. I think that's just what's happened with Carpel. So um give him a chance, let him build back his I think he should just lay off the social media. Just build back himself. And then every time he does make an appearance, it will be like, oh, what's he doing up? But it's every single minute. Yeah, and, and making the girl film and just be there. like is, He's doing too much. 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 Because yeah. at first, I, I rate her very much. I can see she's milking it now. Like, I, he's probably saying to her, like, film me. But, you know, the, the other day they're in the car and they're singing. And they're they're being, doing too much. Both like, of them are doing too allow much. Allow it. But, as I said... It's a fine line. He either comes out and doesn't do enough and then they say, well, we've been supporting him and we can't see him. You can't win. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. He's out all the time and he's filming every minute. Let me say, yo, he might do too much. So you, you can't win. The best thing I think he should do, from my opinion, which doesn't, he obviously he can not listen, but he just got to take his time, build back his strength, get back his vibe, get back, just learn things slowly and then just, every time he features, it will be, it will mean something. Be yeah. more the, just let, keep the mystique because even even me, I, the picture what he took with off his glass and the, and the, I, I would have said that would not gone, that would have gone on public because that would have been something to say, like listen you're not looking the way you're looking so you come out with the glasses and the mirror yeah make that be the the, the look now but that for now but, until you but, get back yourself but he but this might be him forever but then wait. <laughs> well, for what? Wait for what? Is to see if it's, it's like you don't know yet. This might be in forever. No, you don't know yet because remember but you're outside now. He's got grave disease, yeah. And what is happening? It looks like he's got super re- water retention in, in certain areas in his face and his torso. Yeah, that's why his arms are still margot, his legs are still margot, and he just looks like a like an insect. That, but, because his 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 composition is off. You know, like you know when <laughs> you know his body composition is off. Let's keep what, we, what I'm not disrespecting. I'm talking the thing. See if call, a girl got you can't call bus when a girl's got a BBL and a, but she's got skinny legs. Man come like an ant. I'm not saying I just like a beetle more like a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> beetle juice, beetle juice. <laughs> but you know, like if a woman's got a BBL but she's got maga maga legs. Oh, I hate that. You, you're seeing it. We're it's seeing like it. come yeah. on. The, the thighs. It's not. There's no connection. It's just. The, it's just the yeah, so, right? Yeah, because Look you've like got. An ant. Because you're not in proportion. Yeah, look at so he's just got maga maga arms, maga maga legs, and his torso and his neck and his face is just mad. It's mad. And he just looks swell up. And then the bleach on top of it, like you just you think, what yo, this is this is wild. But imagine his face then without the bleach now, we've seen him. It'd be an even wilder. Maybe maybe you got even blacker, you know. If he was just normal, I think he would look better. I think he'd just look better. Because remember, you know, you he's he doesn't look like himself anyway. He's created a whole new look. So imagine just Michael Jackson fighting up. What the white version? That'd be nuts. It's be weird. It's no stretch out again. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is mad. But but, but they say concerts in December. We say we're flying down. Yeah, but I, that's that's my point. Would you? His concert was in the next two days of. Nah, it wasn't. It put you out of three months before his concert. 100%. It wasn't that long. It was three months before his concert. It wasn't that long. It was three months before it. It wasn't the, the, that long. The, the, it was three months before his concert. It wasn't that long, brother. brother I'm telling it you, it was at least some. The long walk days. to freedom. It was a couple of days. Three months. It wasn't three months. All right. It was very well. It's, it's, it was, well, it was very soon, mm. and it was magnificent. It was one of the magnificent. But Budgie's a different artist. You see the difference between Budgie, like because of the type type of music that he makes. Yeah, he will have a band. And they will sing a song. Each one of his songs have an intro, a first verse, a hook. Like they've got melodies. They've got he's got things for back and sing. It's a song. It's a well put together yeah. song. You know what I mean? So yeah. his concerts are immaculate. Could he go? Could he go to dance or then go to reggae yeah? But I mean, but just yeah. But like he has a live band and yeah. they they really perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these artists, like my brother was at Mavado, and they got enough tune, but it's just love them, dash, and they you know, dash for that, and then they go again. That's what because who, who was I think it was have been 
I think it must have been the same. Would you yeah. cussing him saying like how Mavada's not using a live band all now? Like don't use, but they but they, they don't because they just they got the rhythm. The artist run the rhythm and they run the rhythm and then they sing their hit off of that and dash and they go again and they might sing two tunes on this one beat and then dash and you're thinking, right, this is my favorite tune. This is my you've sang ten seconds of my favorite song and then dash. Yeah. Like really, yeah, when you got a band, you play the whole tune, and, you, and yeah. the last beat, the ching ching ching, and the beat yeah, the band yeah. get up and <laughs> yeah, yeah, boom, the next tune. Yeah, because what you do when you have you have your set list, so you what you should do is you should know the country that you're performing in. Yeah, and you know the biggest songs for that country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's gonna vary because England likes certain budget then that Jamaica like or whatever, and yeah, France yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So you get your best set list for the country that you're going to, mm-hmm. and then and you go through your stages you, you come out with a smash so he might come out with driver now you think oh shit this is a one of his biggest tunes yeah but it's not but it's a massive tune so yeah. he starts off on the high then he runs through some hits then in the middle he might drop the tune with him and Barris. pull up the v-, and then it's a high again you know what i mean and then you think oh you can't get better than this then dip, dip, dip. and he gets right down there and then he might draw for Bogle or battery ride yeah. and it goes way up again. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's about just knowing your audience and yeah. there are gonna be so many tunes you don't sing. Yeah. But with the dance or artists, they wanna they got five hundred tunes in there, they wanna sing four hundred and eighty of them. <laughs> they wanna do ten seconds of each. <laughs> to be fair. And just dash, dash, dash. Yeah. Don't dash with this is my favourite song. The Mavado thing, I watched it online. Where they my do, where they my try, my row will Dash. Huh? What are we doing? He did. Uh, yeah, he didn't sing it. He sang it. I think he just sang that bit. So that's what I do with intros. Just it, bro. Sad, man. So I'm saying, and, p- and people don't realise they're getting duped. You're not getting a full concert. Definitely you're not, not getting your f- the artist, really. Definitely you're not, not. You're not knowing the artist. Because remember, you're dashing. See, when you're playing songs like Bujan, he's going to go into a talking segment. Mm. He's going to go into a reasoning segment. He's going to interact with her, you understand? Mm. It's a proper concert. Then, he, then when he's talking to the band, go, ching, ching, you understand? Or something, he's going to work with the band. Mm. You can't work with the DJ. You're going to cuss the DJ. Mm. Yeah, the, yeah. the DJ's just lucky. He's, he's gassed. He's been there. You understand what I'm saying? He's got, <laughs> it's easy for him. He's got a playlist. He's just working here. Track one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? It's not the same, man. The live band, it, it, you can't go around that, man. Yeah, that's a different type of... That's can't a concert. Go around, it can't go around the live That band. is a concert. But this is, I think this is, this is the, unfortunately, I think it's a little bit unfair on the dancehall artists because a lot of their music is made, it's all computer based, a lot of it, do you know what I mean? So the live band. Can't really get it. They can get it, but it's not really made like that. Do you know what I'm saying? But the reggae, reggae music is, usually the band is inside the studio making the song. No, but saying that, that's bullshit. Because the reason why I said that's bullshit, because when they go sting, there's a band. Yeah. And they have to play their tunes to the fucking of band. Of course, but what so, you so, find so is, so but what, you, but what then. you find is, what you find is, a lot of them have to ride on older rhythms. But these new age, they just got the tunes being made in their brethren's yard, and they got like there's not there's no more rhythms being run again. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why if we watch the old school Sting and the Some Fest and all of these things and Reggae Sun Splash, they just they just run the Panani rhythm. Yeah, and you know what I mean, and then yeah. you just. <laughs> and then you just and because it's universal yeah. and everybody can and then give me our one drop and you know what i'm saying but nothing them don't work with bands they don't yeah, they yeah, go yeah. from making a hit they're making a song they hit on youtube yeah and now they got it's just like the instagram comedians as we spoke about before yeah, yeah. they get a big boss they come out and they're not ready for the stage yeah to work with a live band you have you got to get there you got to graduate yeah. to that enough of them are auto-tuned so it's not the same auto-tune Cause if we were to do auto tune, auto tune come save enough people made enough people millionaires, you know, yeah, yeah. singing for free. But you know what's mad? You know, some people can actually sing. I heard there's a there's a T Pain um like concert that's on on Spotify, mm-hmm. and a friend of mine was listening to it. He can actually sing. The auto tune was just a thing that he used. He didn't need it. He can actually really sing. He's, a, he's actually a really good artist. Yeah. But I thought he was just an auto tune man. Yeah. All these years. And then I heard that and thought, raw, he can really sing. So some people can't sing and auto tune has saved them. And then some just use it anyway. But what do you think about auto tune? Do you think it's a cheat it's a cheat code, isn't it? It's a cheat code, man. But bruv, it is what it is. The game is the game, bro. We all cheat, bro. we all no matter what your profession is, you're gonna find some Have you been to have you been to um like 
a booking and then just play the playlist the whole night. No, the thing is, I. But you can like, you can get away with it. Of course, I could. But there's the, the, so some DJs that will play using the sync button yeah. and that will have a playlist that someone else has given them and they'll still get paid. And I'm not, I can't even knock your hustle because that's that's just the tools are there for you. If the tools are there and you use them, it might have cost. It's like me saying, what? You're using power steering? Nah, man, turn off the power steering and drive. Because back in the day, we used to, that's real man driving. So it's basically, stupid. But it's, it is a thief. Because I, I say I'm a DJ now and then they book me. I say, see, sits. give me a wicked playlist. Let me just, you get me? Yeah. Who's the wiser? No one's the wiser. That's what I'm saying. But the, the, it's there for me to be able to give you, to send you some tunes and you put them in the order and, and go and smash up the dance and get your money. The tools are there to be used, and if you use them, you use them. So I can't. Nobody shouldn't hate. The t- if you're cheating, making stuff up, you know. So when people create stuff to cheat, then it's a bit mad. But if you're using tools that are available to you, it's just the game is the game, bro. Game is the game. Okay. So I right, then back to that. Some women said, "I right, stick up in something different." You say the game's a game. Some women they don't like if their man's fucking them with Viagra. I don't. I, I didn't get it, but that's what they, some women don't like. That okay, I can understand that. Why is why why can, I, I don't understand it? To be fair, you can't understand it oh, they, because it's like they should be lucky that they're really getting a hook, a stiff hook. To be fair, yeah, but then this is the problem. I think why women wouldn't like it is because it probably isn't. There's two reasons. If it's their man, firstly, this ain't you, innit? I'm not used to this. <laughs> What you, who is this? What we're doing? Who is this person? Well, why can't this? she just appreciate it? No, I'm just saying, who is this? Like, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Imagine you, your woman that you're with every day, took a pill and then her vagina just just get and just change on you. I would like that. But then what happens when when she can't get the pill? You don't even want to <laughs> sleep with her again. He's saying, babe, 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 babe find babe, the pill. Come in. You got that. Baby, baby, yo. Mm. What she's, like, she's like she's like oh babe I'm, I'm, I'll come I'm, I'm, I'm ready for you tonight you're like yeah we'll be doing that uh, look the pills them are done and I think that I think that's what it is I think you why would you want uh, your your partner to have to use performance enhancing drugs <laughs> because then it's not really your partner I don't know I don't know with that that one the jury is out because I don't know some some women I've, I know women that put that in their man's drink just to, so to make to make sure. Yeah, but that's because, listen. You know what I mean? I think, so it's, it's I think there's a fine line. I don't know. I, that's, I don't know. I, I, could, I don't. I don't know. I don't get. It. I think it's in a way where I don't know. Would you like your woman when you're fucking her to finger herself or use a dildo same time? With, I don't know. Is is it the same as that? No, it's not. It's a bro. You, it's a performance enhancing drug. This is this is a drug that is going to give them p- something to help them perform better. Then it's going to give him. Like it's going to give like him. It's going to give him an erection that he can't get himself. So you're selling your woman a dream, bro. <laughs> you're not, you're it's a. It's it's not real. <laughs> Listen, grow old gracefully, bro. You're the semi. If you are semi man, then you're semi man. My brother sells Viagra, and you know the, his top customers are Pitney. When I say Pitney, guys. 30 and and under i swear as a god above it's like it's man even taking it because of impotence no more you think it's because of it the man them are buying viagra is not they're not impotent i'm telling you i'm thinking like why are you what's wrong with you guys because they they want the extra girth they're suffering I don't think they're suffering. They're bro. suffering. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what's happening. Because it's the young youth. These youth are... It's this, not old man. The I'm, problem is this. Listen. See, sis, I'm no, telling you, I'm for, telling it's you a the, fact. I'm gonna, I know my bridge. I'm going to tell you the problem. Porn is the problem. It is. Porn is the problem. Porn gives you unrealistic... It gives you unrealistic view on sex. No, bro, listen. Let's keep it real. It gives you unrealistic view on sex. In what sense? It makes... Because if you watch a lot of porn... Yeah. You're gonna think sex it has to go the way the porn videos go. In what sense? Blood, you're gonna think you need you need to be the biggest like these porn guys. You think your girl is to ah, 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 bounce on it and do all sorts of stuff. You think that you just walk in and just blam 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 blam, pick her up, run around like all this weird shit. You see, like porn, 
it makes it's a it's a fucking drama. It's a drama show. <laughs> Everything is dramatized. It gives you a full sense of what sex should be. It ruins sex. I don't think it ruins sex. Porn, some, bro, it's no, a, it's a, some bro. sex. Some haven't you watched porn with your partner before? I'm I'm not a young man. I'm talking about it, bro. If you've got a porn addiction, as a you or you really into porn as a you, mm. you've got no sexual experience or not a lot of sexual experience. But porn is your thing. You're going to go into sex thinking that's how porn... Like, this is how it is. So, if you learn... Imagine learning to drive for watching Fast and Furious. <laughs> that's how you, like, got your driving experience. Like, boy, I just watched Fast and Furious 1, 2, right up to Fast and Furious 12 or whatever. So, and you get in the car and try and drive like them. You're going to crash. You understand? And that's what, it, that's what porn is like. Because you... You get into, but then people get into these weird fetishes because they see it on porn. Mm. Man, sexing girl with his timber and boots, he's got his boots. Oh, hey. No, because I say something to you. That's why I, I know I've got old because that pisses me off now. Because when I'm watching porn, I want it to be real. Because <laughs> it's not real. No, because because you can't go into a woman's house with your timber and boots, just naked timber and boots, and on her bed, fucking her. And she's liking it on the white sheets. Yeah, no, that that kills. Cause that, that in ki- her head. Yeah, that kills my whole. Because remember, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be on a journey with you. In it, you lot are creating a scene, but then don't make it realistic. Then, yeah. But the thing is, the porn that you want to you're describing won't get no views. You want bare views. You, you want mummy and daddy sex porn. Oh, right? oh, oh, what See, I'm describing. Oh, yeah, yeah, what you're describing doesn't. It's yeah. not because it's not dramatic enough. Do you see what I'm saying? They want, they want. Man, they the glasses, Tim's. They big want gold chain, man. <laughs> what? They walk in. They got man with six gal. They just yeah. Take his time. Doesn't happen. They want the reverse gangbang. These things don't exist. Well, they do exist, but they they're few and far between. So I think the the this addiction to these performance enhancing drugs are coming from the the porn addiction. I remember I said to you, yeah, like when we first started this. I give up porn ages ago because bro even as a big man it can turn your head bro it can make you start doing thinking weird no it doesn't and I, it also I still watch porn, no. and if you and if you masturbate too much oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah bro i'm telling you there's man who can only bust to their hand that's, yeah. there's only there's some man who can't bust unless it's his hand because he's he's a wanker <laughs> Yeah. Now I've been to that stage. I know what you're talking about. And what you're th- the matter thing is, it's not even funny because it's a real thing, CC. But that I'm telling you. No, I, it's, not like, I, I'm not, it's not like I only could come with my hand. It just makes me longer to come. That means you can only come with your hand. No, I, I come. I do come, but I'm, I, the concentration level's got to be mad. I'm sweating. <laughs> Brother, that's weird. It's weird. It's not weird. I just, I'm no, a, it's weird. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, Mr. Stamina, Daddy. Why is it that's not, be that's weird? not stamina daddy? It is stamina daddy. That's, that's wanker. It's not. <laughs> that's wanker. You're not a stamina. Me are the stamina. No, you're the wanker. Yeah, you're you're a full on wanker. Because you can only bust to your hand. You're a <laughs> wank stain, bro. What are you doing? You're just a babe, 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 babe. babe. Right, let me finish off. No, you fucking wanker. Fuck off. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but I then that's the equivalent. That's the equivalent. Of when you're having sex with that, that's what girls masturbate too much, and I, there's a difference. No, there ain't, there ain't because it pisses me off. You you'll be having sex with a girl, and then you like you cock up her leg the minute or she her hands down there playing with herself. Like what we're we doing there? There's a difference. I don't like that. Let me tell you the difference. You're too. You're, well, let's, let's, let let's, me work let's, with let's my ticket. Let's do the difference. Let's do the difference. No, because she always plays with her clit C six, and that's how she comes rubbing it, rubbing it. Now that's the only way she's gonna come. So when you're in there with giving her some big pipe, sweating like like you're climbing Mount Everest. She, no, but the difference is, listen, a- <laughs> but the difference is a lot of women, even before porn and playing with themselves, yeah, like, they don't really, co- not a lot of women come through penetration. Not a lot. If you look at the grand scheme of things, not a lot come through penetration. They can be satisfied sexually, but that climax isn't going to come for, for a lot of women from penetration. And that's... So, they, the want, they, want, they, that they want um, clitoral... Um, clitor- what's it? Clit- clitor- um, stimulation. stimulation. That's what they want. Yeah. So they end up doing that at the same time or whatever, whatever. Do you get what I'm saying? But it's completely different because they weren't going to come. So the women that do come through sex, through penetration, trust me, they're not playing with nothing because they're going to come. They know they're going to come. There's some girl like you, 
I'm not sure about you, but I've had some gal who they're gonna come and they know they're gonna come. So it's, 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 yeah, there's some girls built different. They know they they don't need nothing played. They don't need to play with nothing. They don't need nothing. They don't need there's nothing. They don't need nothing. Nothing else. Because once we gets to work, everything I go work. Yeah. There's not a lot of women lucky enough like that, so they have to go. There other things have to happen. You understand? But with the man, then we're gonna come. Because our thing is a, uh, our thing is, it's the motion that makes us come. It's the, the action. It's just gonna be in out in out in out. You're gonna come eventually. Rub rub rub. It's gonna come eventually because you get what I'm saying. Because we're built different. So when you take away that, and turn it psychological that you can do all the actions and your body is reacting, but your brain is stopping you coming because it ain't in your hand. That's where the problem is. But that's, not, that's, not, that's not my problem. That's not my... You fucking... <laughs> <laughs> that's not my problem. So you, I've just explained about the women doing it and play with themselves. And because they've got... Remember, women's got so much different dildos. They could desensitize themselves by themselves. You're not worrying about that. You're coming back to the man. You, you know got, what? I'm not worrying about that. You, you know what? I'm not worried about that. The reason I'm not worried about it is because it's proven that... Th- do you know how many women, yeah? This is another thing that men don't tap into, you know? Enough men ain't satisfying their girl, you know? They're not satisfying their girl. They, they're having this race. Yeah. First to come wins. Yeah. No, and no, they, what you're and they is bust true. and they don't... And you're not satisfying your woman. Yeah. And guess what? There's a time when it's okay for her because she might be happy... With you being happy, she might be happy that you've come. She might be happy that she's turned you on, and but that, that can't last forever. Yeah. So if you don't learn how to satisfy your woman, and all you do is satisfy yourself, there will be a time when, as soon as you go to sleep, she's finishing herself off, or yeah. she's dealing with, or yeah. she's onto something else, or she's buying all yeah. these toys, or she's going to these sex parties, or she's, or she's with next man, or with next woman. So learn your woman, learn to satisfy your woman. I'll talk like, bro, listen, this is when we grew, when you're, when you're an adult, you're supposed to talk, find out what's, what's going on, how do you get you know what I'm saying? And then you learn each other. You get to a place where everyone's satisfied. Mm-hmm. Once you're at that place of satisfaction and sex is amazing, you're satisfied. She's satisfied. You don't need to wank. She don't need to play with herself because you don't know how to deal with each other, but not enough man. Like their ego won't allow them to talk. Their ego won't allow them to find out if they, if what they're doing is even working. It's true. No, but it's, it's that's that's. I think that's a man ego. But um, in all fairness, I was one of those selfish fuckers. You know what I mean? Literally, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but now I've, I've my pleasure. My pleasure is making the woman. You understand? So you're so you now get satisfied from. Satisfying her. Yeah. But you used to be a selfish lover before. Selfish. You understand what I'm saying? You just want to bust and then you're... Yes. You You catch what I'm doing here. That was me, but I'm not busting no more. And you understand? That's not who I am no more. In the sense of... I'm not... um, What do you call it? I'm not the guy that's going to... I like to find out if you're going to come. That makes me come. Your pleasure is my pleasure now. It's weird. I don't... It's like the universe has fucked me over on that one. You understand? It's too, no, but it's... Too, yeah, boy. Because I swear to God. You've matured. It really... My, her pleasure is my pleasure now. You've matured. You're I'm matured. telling you, if I... What pisses me off with certain girls as well, like, I be like having sex with them, getting, getting good, and I'm thinking, yeah, you must have come now. So it's my time to come now. And I'm thinking, yeah, come. And then she think, oh, I was just about to come there. That kills me, you know? Even though I've come, it's like you just... You know what it is? You know you've just is. killed my whole you, you sex. Know, you know what? You know what? You know what used to really mess that with me? That pisses me off, bro. You know, it used to mess with me because I'm like, I don't mind talking, innit? Like, me and her talking. I, I'm all right with the talking. I think sometimes it's really sexy, innit? So, but I remember she's telling me she's coming, but because she's telling me she's coming, it's turning me on more. But like, yo, you need to come now. Because, mm. or stop, or shut up. Because you're going to make me come quicker than than needed. So if you need 30 seconds, yeah. I've only got 20. Yeah. So shut up so we can both have 30. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But then, because there's nothing worse than just dropping short at the fucking finish line. You just drop short. So you just, and it's like, oh, that, that, oh, 
it burns your soul, blood. I don't care who you are, it burns your soul. I'm telling you, that's that. that kill. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to have sex sorry, with you. Sorry, again. sorry. I didn't want to have sex with you again. Just because you, you, you don't You know, if you apologize, because we've all done it. I'm like, no, no, no. It's all right. So, this is why you got to learn. To, you got to learn each other. You got to talk. You got to know triggers. You got to know. I know what's yeah, yeah, certain of my old partners. I know when they're gonna come. With they, they start pulling me in. So okay, okay, yeah, you won't come now. So, but, but sometimes they pull you, and it's a bit too long, blood. <laughs> you understand? Anyway, let's move on. Fuck you, no, blood. But yeah, the, the man, them stop, stop, stop these performance enhancing drugs, man. Stop it's it. It's too late. It's too late for that. Because uh, you know why it's too late for that. It's like the only way you can say that is if you're gonna stop porn hub. As I said, I've, I pay monthly. You got, you got a, you really got it's a not porn, but there's a next site that I play monthly on. I'm gonna take it off because I've rinsed it. I've seen the same you thing. You literally like pay for porn. No the time when porn's free. It's not free. It's free for the for the for the little brothel people that want to see the, the freeness. The basic porn. Well, it's basic porn. You want three D porn. I want everything. What Would I you want. You wear like v- 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 I w- yo people. Listen. Make sure you check out us on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash elephant in the room. Make sure you sign up. It's only three pounds a month. You get to watch the full episode, all right? Because you can see we've just cut the episode short, in it? So if you want to watch the full episode, jump onto Patreon. You're also going to get some exclusive content over there. You're also going to be the first dips on anything that we're doing. You're going to be the first person or the first set of people that can get tickets and are going to have the opportunities, all right? So jump over to Patreon and make sure you follow us and you keep it elephant in the room, all right? So join us over on Patreon and... Peace.